Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to analyze this circuit and finding the Z parameters for this circuit. So the difference between this circuit and the circuits that we had in class is that they were mostly um, reciprocal cases. So we didn't have any dependent source in them. And for the reciprocal case, since we have the equivalent circuit ready, we can just find the Z parameters easily. Here in this circuit, you can see that we have a dependent source on the output side, and it is depending on I1, which is the input current. So for this one, we need to do the analysis for the circuit completely in order to find all four Z parameters. So as I have written here, Z11 and Z21 requires us to um, actually set I2 equal to zero, which means that we have to make the output of our circuit, the right side of the circuit, the secondary side of the circuit equal to actually as an open circuit. So we have um, I2 equal to zero. And then for Z12 and Z22, we have to do uh, the same thing for the input side. So I'm going to do the um, actually make the open circuit in the input um, side first in order to find Z12 and Z22. Um, so as I said, I want my input side of the circuit to be open circuit. So I know that if this is open circuit, then I1 will be equal to zero, right? And then here we have a five ohm. I forgot to write. And then we'll go here. We have this dependent source over here. And then we have V2 over here because I know that my output side is not an open circuit. Negative positive 4I1. Here I have 10 ohms and 20 ohms and 5 ohms. Okay. So I know that I1 is equal to 0. So we are sure that there is no current passing through the 5 ohm resistor. Right. So this is one thing that we have to pay attention to. The other thing is that since I1 is equal to zero, the voltage source that is depending on I1, so the dependent voltage source at the second side at the output side of the circuit is for I1. I1 is equal to zero, so this whole thing will be equal to zero, right? So when a voltage source is equal to zero, it means that there is a short circuit over there, right? Because the voltage source, the voltage at that point was equal to zero because the voltage at that point was equal to 4I1, that was a voltage source, dependent voltage source, and I1 was equal to zero, so there will be a short circuit over there. So here, now we have everything ready to find Z12 and Z22. So let me write the voltage across this point. So I know that there is no current passing through this resistor. So voltage V1 will be applied directly across um, 20 ohm resistor. Now, what I can do is I can write a KVL here. And the other thing that I want you to pay attention is that since I1 is equal to zero, the only current passing through the resistor of 20 ohm is I2, right? Because I2 is moving through um, node V1, right, where I wrote V1 there. And then after that, it will go all the way to 20 ohm resistor. Why? Because there won't be any current in this direction. Okay, so I'm going to write a caveat in that loop. So we have V2 equal to 10 I2 plus 20 I2. And this will give me V2 equal to 30I2. So this is a relationship between V2 and I2. I know that the relationship between V2 and I2 is giving me Z22 is V2 over I2. And that would be equal to 30 ohm. So here we have my Z22. Now for finding Z12, I know that for finding Z12, I need to find a relationship between V2 and, uh, actually V1 and I2. <clears throat> when I1 is equal to zero, which is the case that we are working at. 
So look at the voltage across the 20 ohm resistor. I know that that voltage is equal to V1. And based on the ohm's law, the voltage across that 20 ohm resistor is equal to Ri. So it is 20 I2. So you can see here that Z12, which is equal to V1 over I2, is equal to 20. Okay, so we found Z12. Alright, so this was for two of my Z parameters. Now, for finding the other two Z parameters, which are Z11 and Z21, I have to make the output side as an open circuit. Okay? So let's do that together. So we know that my input is not anymore an open circuit, so I have a V1 over here. And then we have a 5 ohm resistor over here. We have a 10 ohm resistor. So this time, this dependent voltage source of 4I1 is not anymore a short circuit because I1 is not equal to 0. Okay? But here, V2, we know that there, there is an open circuit over here. So I2 is equal to 0. This is 10. And then a 20. Okay? Now I need to find other relationships between V1, V2, uh, I1 and I2 in order to find my other two Z parameters, okay? So let's analyze the circuit for a minute. I2 is equal to zero, so there is no current going through this branch. Do you agree with that? I2 is equal to zero, right? So there is no voltage drop across this resistor. Nothing is going across this resistor. But the voltage at point A is not anymore equal to V2. Why? Because I have a dependent voltage source in between V2 and point VA that is depending on I1, and I1 is not equal to zero. So if I want to find VA, I know that V2 is equal to 4I1 plus VA. Right? So from here, I can say that VA, which is the voltage across the 20 ohm resistor, is equal to V2 minus 4I1. I know that you can just, you know, out of, you can just write it as it is. You can say that, okay, the voltage across the resistor is clearly V2 minus 4I1, but I did write a KVL here in order to find this equation. I'm saying this because in this circuit, it is easy to see that, but sometimes you have a more complicated circuit that you actually need to write that KVL in order to not be confused and don't do any errors, you know? So the voltage across this resistor, which is VA, is equal to V2 minus 4I1. Now I have everything over here ready for finding my other two Z parameters, okay? So I know that the only current passing through VA is going to be I1 because I1 enter VA, the node actually A, sorry, and it will go all the way to 20 ohm because I know that in that red branch, we do not have any current. Okay? Now, let me write the equation over here. So we have this loop over here. So V1 is equal to 5I1 plus 20I1. And from here I can say that V1 is equal to 25I1. And this is going to be the relationship between V1 and I1. So Z11 is equal to V1 over I1. And that is going to be equal to 25. So this is one of my Z's. And then the other Z that I'm looking for is actually Z21, um, which is equal to V2 over I1, when I2 is equal to 0, which is the case. So what is the voltage across the 20 ohm resistor? We found that it is VA. So VA is V2 minus 4 I1. At the same time, I know that the voltage across that resistor is 20 I1. Ri. 
So now here I have the relationship between V2 and I1. So V2 is equal to 24I1. So Z21 will be equal to 24. So we found the other Z parameter. All right. So this is how we analyze this kind of circuit. So we have to make the open circuit, actually the output is an open circuit and the input is an open circuit in order to find different Z's. And I will do um, a problem, a question on um, actually Y parameters, the admittance parameters as well. Um, if you have any questions, you can write them in the comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.